Hi there, my name's Gemma. This is my video showing the process of my illustration too. I thought usually I type it up on the computer, but I thought this time I'd try doing a video to help speed it along quicker. Uh, this is um, my sketchbook. So the last two days I've been researching Wolverhampton. The exercise was to showcase a series of four illustrations for a travel company about a sense of place so I've done it based on my hometown Wolverhampton so for the last two days I've been going out sketching finding out information about the history of certain things I realize there's actually quite a few uh, statues and sculptures in Wolverhampton than I'd really thought about there's like really um, interesting buildings like the Grand Theatre. Uh, we've got the first ever traffic lights in our city. Um, there's some very old buildings in there. This is one of our main statues in the town called the Man on the Horse. Uh, it's based around Queen Victoria when she come to town after the, the death of Prince Albert and that's him on the horse there. Uh, the other things that was uh, interesting was learning about the St Peter's Church. That was the oldest church in Wolverhampton, well the oldest building sorry in Wolverhampton. And also, um, there's the art gallery there, and also I sketched various people, passers-by, while I was sitting down. So, just capturing daily life, really, and getting the trying to get a sense of Wolverhampton and its identity. So, now I've done that research, I then had to think about how I'm going to portray Wolverhampton with its people. So out of all the sketches and going around town, I picked out various important places. Uh, the most important I felt was the Wolverhampton Molyneux with the football ground. Uh, that's very big at the moment as well with uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers up in the, the Premier League. Uh, St Peter's Church because it's the oldest building there's so much history there and it's a beautiful place in the gardens on a summer's day uh, Lindy Lou's Cafe uh, that's the second oldest building um, and I thought it'd be great to capture some illustrations with people drinking their coffee in the outside the building and the other main one uh, I put the art gallery there um, but I think the one that's more important is the man on the horse. Uh, like I just showed you some of my sketches about that one. So that's the main ones about the different sites. And then I've thought about what people could be doing around these sites. So the man on the horse, it's quite a romantic uh, area as such. Um, expressing the love of Victoria with uh, Prince Albert at the time it was made. So um, I was thinking about having people, you do see quite often people sitting around, especially couples sitting around the statue. So I thought try and make it a bit romantic with a couple sitting there, um, a few passers-by holding hands as such, just to get the atmosphere of its history. Uh, obviously, Lindy Lou, I spoke about having people outside drinking. Uh, the Molyneux, I thought, would be a good idea to show people's dreams of the sport. So perhaps have some kids outside uh, playing football with uh, a plastic bottle, maybe, or a tin can. Just something that just shows that they're passionate and they, they've got dreams uh, to be footballers someday. Uh, and also St Peter's Church. It's so peaceful there when I walked through um, and I saw people just enjoying their time sitting on the benches and that. So for there, perhaps I would also do the fountain of somebody making a wish. Um, obviously, people sitting on the benches and just relaxing, really, and enjoying the history and the beautiful gardens. So those were my initial ideas what I do want to showcase uh, the next thing I had to think of was how I'm going to showcase it so on this next one this shows uh, my ideas now as I'm a paper illustrator I've just thought about 
illustrations which involve using paper to create something really cool. Uh, what I picked out, I did quite a few uh, ideas here, um, but the three that I like the best are highlighted. So it was the dioramas, which are the shoe, but which could be like a shoe box, and then you um, build up a three D layer image inside. Uh, ever seen uh, the zigzag idea which I um, saw an artist do recently uh, but I thought I could try and do it in my own style so what it is it's like a zigzag uh, downward long piece of paper but then at the top it's all cut out so I could cut out all the buildings perhaps a few people um, and so forth that actually does need to be people in this because the travel agent on this exercise wants to see people engaging in activities or sightseeing so that's something to think of when I'm looking at that the other one uh, which I was really interested in was the theatre um, this is uh, I think it's going to be a great idea is creating the Grand Theatre which is an iconic building anywhere in Wolverhampton and creating a play on the stage um, basically it's telling the tale of Wolverhampton so there would be four different scenes um, I'd make a model of the theatre and using like design props um, and backgrounds create the different scenes um, so that the viewer um, well the series of illustrations all work together because they will all be of a theatre image but there will be different areas of Wolverhampton on the stages in the uh, series. Um, the other thing I was interested in was perhaps putting an audience in front of the stage and then when I'm taking photos for the final illustration um, the viewer it will help the viewer to have a sense of though they're sitting in the theatre so I thought this would also be quite clever because then it's engaging, not only showing the uh, viewer a sense of place, but they're also engaging in an activity, watching a play at the Grand Theatre. So they would also be enjoying Wolverhampton and its identity. So I think... Um, that was the main one really which I liked but then after that I did do I don't know if you can see on the camera but I did do these three uh, mind maps um, and these were helping me break it down to look at the pros and cons of each uh, of the three ideas so this is the dioramas um, as you can see here there's like the man on the horse in the box and at the background you've got the buildings so it all sticks out uh, here you've got the church in the gardens, people sitting on a bench, uh, a pigeon flying by um, and so forth. Um, but the thing is about this is that I've already done a diorama in illustration one. So it's really doing something the same as I've done before. But I kind of feel like I want to take a risk anyway um, and do something different. So that kind of put that to one side in the end the other one was the zigzag one as you can see here you can see a bit more detail it's a bit still a bit scribbly because it's just a sketch but you can see like this is the molyneux up here with the steve ball the church and it comes zigzagging down you've got the man on the horse with some people and then this is lindy Lou's with a cafe with people sitting outside so it all forms an illustration um and then I tried doing ones that were single, so it was just the garden with the church um, or the Molyneux with the statue and so forth. Um, I do like these ideas and I think I will keep this in mind for a future exercise to try out. But um, I, I want to show people enjoying a scene. I think this is going to be quite hard to do. It would be okay if it was just the buildings and whatnot, but... Like, on, for instance, the Molyneux one, I want to show them kicking a ball in the air. So if the ball's not attached to the paper there, it's quite difficult to to portray it. So a few things really was like making it a bit difficult uh, to think about, um, especially when I want to include people in the illustration. 
so that one was also put to his side. The next one was um, the Grand Theatre, and I'm really excited about this now. Um, it's a very challenging illustration to create the model of a theatre um, and also work out how to do all the props in the background. Um, and as such, like we've got the fountain here with the church in the background. Um, that's the stage uh, with the frame around. Um, I just thought it was really good, and it's. I think it's quite clever how uh, we can I can get the viewer to engage in an activity just by looking at the finished illustrations. Um, so that's it, really. So. After research and everything, I think I am definitely going to go with the Grand Theatre. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go away uh, and pause this video um, and come back to it once I have decided what I'm going to use and how I'm going to create it.